A video journal about camp. This is my eighth summer at Camp Mount Shenandoah, and it's my last summer as a camper. Normally anyone who leaves summer camp wouldn't think of it ending a chapter in their lives starting a new one, but we do. And if I look back on my life eight years ago, there's been a lot that's changed, but the only thing that's been constant is camp. What kind of advice do you have for me as a junior counselor? Just because you're ending your years as a camper doesn't mean that you are done with camp. Um, camp will always be a part of you. Every summer you're here, whether it's because you're a camper or a JC or a counselor, you're here for a reason. And there's so much left, not only for you to learn, but for you to give. How has CMS had a lasting impact on you? You clearly still love camp. You've sent your daughters here. In most every other area of your life, there are different roles you play for different people, for different reasons, and I think the camp has been a constant for me and for my sister, but also I think it teaches you how to have a constant, how to have a self that you believe in and that you bring to all those other roles. And there are so many toxic influences in the culture, especially relating to girls and young women, that if we can teach them self-reliance and resilience and a strong sense of self, um, and camp is a huge piece of that, then that kind of prepares them to go out into a much more competitive and you know sometimes difficult world. This isn't just a place where you can come and do activities. It's a place where you can come and make friends and learn how to be on your own and learn how to care for others. What's the difference between your camp friends and your friends at home? My friends at home, we like hang out together and stuff, and we uh, uh, go to the movies and stuff. But and I like them as a friend. But like at camp, I love them like a sister. And we don't just play together. We kind of like bond together. Time and distance with camp friends doesn't matter. And so it's almost like instead of a change, your camp friends remind you of like this constant self. In the outside world, you have your cell phone, all your clothing and the media and your makeup to like layer you and hide you from being judged or from being somebody else. And at camp, you're taken away from all that and you're left with nothing but yourself. So you're, you learn to not to hide behind anything. What makes CMS unique is the acceptance of each girl that walks through those gates. And out of that acceptance is born so many other things that happen here at Camp Mont Shenandoah. What has been one thing you've learned about yourself while you've been at camp? I've learned that I'm a lot crazier than I think, that I can do stuff that I, don't, that I didn't know I could do or that I didn't want to do before. I love the sound of like the arrow hitting the target. It's like such a, like an effective sound because you're like, yes, I hit the target. I tried lacrosse for the first time here and I really, really liked it. And so that made me start playing on a team at home. I've been riding some tougher horses and it's been helping me to be patient and take my time. Camp gives you the gift of believing in yourself. There's always someone standing there behind you that says, you know, you tried your hardest and let's brainstorm ways to make next time better. I love the traditions and sort of the generations that come here and the friendships. And I've seen it with women from young girls down on the you know, junior row all the way through the mothers and grandmothers who came here. And you see their names written on the wall and how it sort of transcends through multiple generations and that bond. Our longest standing tradition here at camp are our two teams, the Greens and the Buffs. And uh, the teams compete throughout the summer in a variety of athletic and non-athletic events. With being competitive comes sportsmanship. And at camp, it's key to have respect for the people you are playing because they are your best friends, they are your sisters. How could anyone explain a love so true? A love of team we never knew. 
would help us all to be, would help us all to grow into the ones we want the world to know, and show us all the light, the flame that burns and burns in the hearts of greens for all time. How could anyone explain, how could anyone explain a love so true, a love of team we never knew, would help us all to go, would help us all to grow, into the ones we want the world to Traditions are a huge part of camp. You feel like you're part of something special and you're making something special for somebody else. What is your favorite camp tradition? I like singing all the camp songs and listening to all the words that have been written by past campers and I think that's really special. Singing is a really big thing about camp. Mm -hmm. Like the song fest and singing in the feed bag and singing with the buffs and greens. It shows um, emotions you can't really speak. The river is flowing wide, enchanted by her blue skies, will keep her near all through the year. The glow of her summer sun entwines our hearts as one, her love lives on when we are gone. Her grace will go surrounding us, filled with cheers of greens and buffs, will keep her near. All through the year, she's the light that guides us through in everything we do. Shenandoah, Shenandoah, and even after we are gone, we close our eyes and hear her song. Shenandoah, Shenandoah, we will never be the same. Our life she has forever changed. Our life she has forever. Can you name the five virtues of camp? Love, loyalty, friendship, spiritual awareness, and sportsmanship. The 12 laws of woodcraft are, um, at camp we have this symbol called the sand painting and on it are 12 rays from the great fire and it's basically the 12 laws just embody what I would want to be when I grow up and it's what you want to live by in life. Be brave. Be silent, obey, be clean, be strong, protect wildlife always, speak true, be reverent, play fair as you strive, be kind, be helpful, and be glad you are alive. The 12 laws of woodcraft are ways of being. The five virtues are character building. We do believe in the spiritual. The spirit one finds in nature, that one finds in relationships, and that one can find in oneself as well. I think Liza feels appreciated here for her inner qualities, and she sees models for her, other girls, older girls, supporting each other, encouraging each other, and being friends despite differences. And so I think when she goes back to school, she has that confidence that, that that's the way the world should be. The skills they learn at the waterfront, and the horse barn, and the it's amazing as a parent to see your girls come home with this, a life skill. CMS has given them the chance to develop some real leadership skills, uh, the chance to build really strong relationships, and those are two things that will serve them incredibly well. They learn about themselves and that they can rely on themselves and that they can be themselves. And I think Camp Mount Shenandoah fosters that, and I think Camp Mount Shenandoah has fostered that in me. I think that all of us continue to learn about ourselves each year we come back and our strengths and our weaknesses and how um, we interact with others and I think no matter what age you are, camp is a place where you learn a lot more about who you are as a person and who you want to become. What is your favorite thing about camp? I've been here for eight years and I still don't know everything about camp and I think that's what's so exciting about it. And there's so many more layers to it. Camp doesn't end when you leave these gates, when you leave these hills. It goes with you wherever you go. And the things you learn, they never leave you. You don't forget how to be a good member of a team or a good member of a community when you leave. They follow you wherever you go, and I think that camp has more to teach me as I leave, which is something, I mean, I'm excited 
to see what that is, but um, I'm fine staying right where I am right now. Forever change.